Oh, wow. Is that a Bondre the Giant poster? Poster? What poster? You know, I keep telling the janitor to stop putting up posters in my room. I used to have such a crush on him as a kid. After my dad took me to WrestleMania, I wrote Morgan Loves Bondre like a million times on my Trapper Keeper. So did I. My grandpa, he was a peanut vendor at Bondre the Giant's private baseball stadium. And he and Bondre really hit it off. And he said Bondre the Giant was the best lay he'd ever had. <laughs> if your grandfather was a peanut vendor, what was he doing in the wrestler's locker room? Okay, okay, so the whole stalker thing kind of runs in the family. Anyway... Did you know Bondre was over seven feet tall? And he had a posse. And he weighed more than my Aunt Mabel. See, he had a really bad eating problem. A rare disease that causes nearby plants to burst into song. You sure know a lot about Bondre the Giant. More than I'd like to. See, me and Bondre are blood brothers. Uh, don't you mean were? You don't believe me? There's no way a phone call can be faked. Hello, Bondre the Giant. Uh, pretend you know me. Oh, you're in the locker room with my grandpa right now. Tell the bulkster I accept his apology for that time he got mad that I was so much cooler than him. <laughs> He's telling Bulk Bogan you like him. Bogan is running home crying. If you'd like to make a call, well, I don't think she's again. buying it. I love you too, Snookums. I've got a lady caller. Bye-bye. Larry, I hate to break it to you, but Bondre the Giant's been dead for like ten years. That's what Bulk Bogan wants you to believe. Then who has my mom been spending all that time with? Oh, I don't know. No one? All right, then. Why don't I just invite Bondre over? And tell him he's dead. I bet he'd lurch out of his grave and show you just where he puts his peanuts. <laughs> Come on, Larry. It's not like I'd fall for that sad little trick anyway, even if he was alive. Really? I thought it was working. Wow. You really are stupid, aren't you? <laughs>